Yo, what is up everyone? How's it going? This is Nate and or Nanotin bringing you yet another Genshin Impact video. And in today's video, I wanted to talk about how to efficiently spend your resin, uh, how to not overcap on your Fading Stars might. And yeah, so let's just go ahead and jump into it. Um, you can see we're right here at the event page already. We're going to head into the event shop where we can see all of the items that we can buy with the Fading Stars might. So the total cost of all of these items is 1,966, the majority of that being from the Mora and the Hero's Wit right here, which is a total of 1,600 of the Fading Stars might. Uh, but it is very, very well worth spent. Um, you're going to be getting 2.5 million Mora from this. You're going to be getting a absolute buttload of character experience from these. I don't. I haven't even calculated how much that is, um, but it, it, I, I think it's like three million character experience. Like that, that's just absolutely crazy. Um, but anyways, let's get into actually how to uh, spend your resin and how many of the meteoric remains you're going to want to do before part three drops. So, um, I made a notepad concerning all of it. Um, I know the rewards actually scale with world level. I'm going to pop up the notepad on the screen right now. Uh, but as you can see, I have 45 might per meteoric remains. Um, now, I know this scales with your world level. For me, I get 45 per meteoric rema meteorite remains. Um, and I saw the smallest person getting 15 from a single run. Uh, so I'm going to be getting it three times faster than they would um, so for them it might not be as efficient to run these but for me it's absolutely insane if you're uh, I'm not sure what all the exact rewards are I'm assuming they go up by five every single world level um, but anyways uh, I get 45 per run um, and as you can see right here uh, I totaled out how many might we actually got from the Meteor collections from like collecting them in Starfell Valley, in Dadaupa Gorge, uh, Jayun, all of those other places, the six total areas. You get uh, 158 um, Fading Stars might from all of those. And then the Meteoric Wave quest right here, there's six of them total right now. And you'll get 20 from e them each. So that's 120, making a total of 278. So. Uh, we know that it's 1966 total required to actually buy all the rewards, so we went ahead and minus that out. So we need to get 1,688 Fading Stars Might from the Meteoric Remains to actually be able to buy every single item. Um, so we know that there's four days. Uh, I'm trying to just go over these numbers really quick. Like I, I didn't really make a whole lot of description here or anything, but anyways... Uh, there's four days f until part three drops. You can see it in the background right there at the bottom right of my notepad. Um, but so we divided the 1688 by four so that we know that we have to get 422 fading stars might every single day. Um, and then I went ahead and divide that by how much I made from every single meteoric remains. And I, decide, I found out that I need to run 9.3 Meteorite Remains every day in order to actually be able to um, finish out my entire Fading Stars Might shop. Um, now this is going to vary for you. I mean, uh, we can plug in different numbers. We can come out with different rewards. If it was uh, 15 instead, that would then be like 28. Um, which, I mean, there, there's no way you're going to run 28 of them unless if you're just spending a bunch of your... Uh, fragile resin or your um, what is it called the uh, primo gems uh, but I, I don't suggest you do that at all if anything save all of those for the uh, third part of the event use it then it'll be much more worth it then um, but as you can see it was 9.3 here I need to be running 9.3 of the meteorite remains every single day in order to be able to get the 1966 total mites um, so it's not too bad. I mean, 9.3, that's 186, uh, resin spent pretty much. And that's, that's not bad at all. Um, so 
pretty much what I'm trying to do is I'm, I'm trying to make sure that I enter part three with 160 resin. Like, I, I need to be entering uh, 4 a.m. That's my reset time. 4 a.m. with 160 resin in my pocket. Um, and to do that, I'm trying to map it out and everything. I haven't completely figured it out yet, but I'm trying to make sure that I use my resin as soon as I can. I've already ran eight of these runs today. I need to do, I'm going to do two more today and then, or well, I might go ahead and do three more today and then try and enter tomorrow uh, with as much resin as I can to do another, uh, I would need eight at that point. Um, but anywho, uh, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Uh, if it helped in any way, I, I really hope this video did help you. I hope you figured out how you can um, actually, you know, prioritize your resin spending for this event. Uh, don't overcap. It, it, you don't need to overcap at all. The rewards are very good. Uh, make sure that you try and get all of them. And yeah, if you enjoyed it, please make sure you leave a like. Comment what you thought. If you have any other thoughts about this entire thing, just go ahead and comment them down below. I'm very interested in what y'all have to say. And then, uh, yeah, subscribe if y'all enjoyed it and you want to see more Genshin Impact content in the future. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.